Hello, and welcome to my channel. As pet owners, we all want to keep our furry friends healthy and active. And what better way to do that than through sports and training activities, specifically designed for dogs. In this video, we'll be taking a look at some of the most popular and beneficial sports and trainings for dogs, including their benefits, and how to get started. Number 10. Agility Training Agility training for dogs is a form of physical and mental training that involves teaching dogs to navigate a course of obstacles, such as jumps, tunnels, and weave poles. This type of training helps dogs to develop quickness, coordination, balance, reflexes, and improves their ability to follow commands and work with their handlers. Agility training can be a fun and rewarding activity for dogs and their owners, and it can also be a great way to bond with your pet. The benefits of agility training for dogs include improved physical fitness, mental stimulation, and better behavior. It also helps with building confidence and trust between the dog and the handler. Number 9. Flyball Flyball is a sport for dogs that involves teams of dogs competing against each other by racing down a course with hurdles and a flyball box, which releases a tennis ball for the dogs to catch. The objective of the sport is for the dogs to complete the course in the fastest time possible, with each dog on the team completing the course before the next one can start. Flyball is a fun and exciting sport for dogs that promotes teamwork and camaraderie among the dogs and their handlers. It requires a good deal of physical fitness and training for the dogs, and it can be a great way to bond with your pet. Number 8. Dock Diving Dock diving is a sport for dogs that involves dogs jumping off a dock into a body of water to retrieve an object, such as a toy or a bumper. The objective of the sport is for the dogs to jump as far as possible into the water, with the distance being measured from the front of the dock to the base of the dog's tail as they touch the water. To participate in dock diving, dogs must be trained to jump off a dock and to retrieve an object from the water. Training typically involves introducing the dog to the dock and gradually building up their confidence and jumping distance. Before we continue our video, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon for more informative and amazing videos. Number 7. Weight Pulling Weight pulling involves dogs to pulling a heavy weight, such as a sled or a cart, along a predetermined course or distance. The objective of the sport is for the dog to pull the weight as far as possible in the shortest amount of time. Weight pulling is a physically demanding sport that requires a good deal of training and conditioning for the dogs. It is typically performed by larger breeds of dogs, such as Alaskan Malamutes, American Bulldogs, and Pit Bulls that have a strong build and a high level of muscle mass. Number 6. Herding Herding is a sport for dogs that involves training dogs to control and move a group of livestock such as sheep, cattle, or ducks, in a specific pattern or area. The objective of the sport is for the dog to work with precision and control, following commands from its handler to move the livestock in a specific pattern or to a specific location. Herding is a sport that requires a good deal of training and conditioning for the dogs. It is typically performed by herding breeds, such as Border Collies, Australian Cattle Dogs, and Shetland Sheepdogs, that have a natural instinct to herd and control livestock. Number 5. Rally Obedience Rally Obedience combines traditional obedience training with the excitement and fun of rally-style courses. The objective of the sport is for the dog and handler team to navigate a course of signs, each of which indicates a specific obedience task, such as sit, down, come, or heel, that the dog must perform with precision and in a timely manner. Rally obedience is a sport that requires a good deal of training and conditioning for the dogs. It is open to dogs of all breeds and sizes, and the handlers may be any age. Number 4. Tracking Tracking is a sport for dogs that involves training dogs to follow a specific scent, typically a human scent, over a predetermined course or distance. The objective of the sport is for the dog to follow the scent as accurately and as quickly as possible while demonstrating good obedience and control. Tracking is a sport that requires a good deal of training and conditioning for the dogs. It is open to dogs of all breeds and sizes, and the handlers may be any age. 
Dogs that excel in this sport have a strong sense of smell and are able to focus on the task at hand. Number 3. Tri-Ball Tri-Ball is a sport for dogs that involves training dogs to herd and push large exercise balls into a goal or target area. The objective of the sport is for the dog to work with precision and control, following commands from its handler to move the balls in a specific pattern or to a specific location. Tri-Ball is a sport that requires a good deal of training and conditioning for the dogs. It is open to dogs of all breeds and sizes. Number 2. Dog Scootering Dog scootering is a sport that involves training dogs to pull a person on a scooter or a kick scooter. The objective of the sport is for the dog to pull the scooter over a predetermined course or distance as quickly and efficiently as possible. It is typically performed by larger breeds of dogs such as Alaskan Malamutes, Siberian Huskies, and Samoyed that have a strong build and high endurance. Number 1. Barn Hunt Barn hunt tests a dog's ability to find and indicate the presence of rats in a barn-like setting. The sport is open to all breeds and mixes of dogs and is designed to be fun and challenging for both the dog and the handler. The course is set up with hay bales, tunnels, and other obstacles, and the dog must locate a specific number of rats, typically two or three hidden within the course. The dog must then indicate the presence of the rat to the handler by barking or other means. The sport is designed to be safe for both the dogs and the rats, and the rats used in the sport are typically domestic pet rats that have been trained to tolerate the noise and activity of a barn hunt event. That's all for today. All of these sports are great ways to keep your dog active and healthy, and they're a lot of fun for both you and your dog. If you're interested in getting started with any of these sports, be sure to check out local training classes or search for resources online. And don't forget to have fun and enjoy the journey with your furry companion. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.